to energize ourselves and successfully solve this question, let's remember the words of author William Arthur Ward. The pessimist complains about the wind. The optimist expects it to change. The realist adjusts the sails. I suggest we adapt to the challenges presented by this assessment test question, adjusting our approach as needed and persevering until you succeed. You're presented with cool-looking shape. It has eight numbers, and the ninth number is missing. Starting with the middle, the first number is two. Then there's another two. Then there's number six, eight, twelve, one, nine, sixteen, and then comes the missing number. You need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 25. Choice B, 32. Choice C, 36. And last but not least, choice D, 49. Well, I suspect you might have already tried solving this problem in your head and possibly anticipating a comment from me on how tough this question seems. Consider this. Every difficult question on the test is a chance for you to stretch your skills. Take a deep breath, have faith in your knowledge, and face the question with courage and tenacity. And no, we will support each other on this channel through this obstacle growing stronger in the process. Time's up. Are you ready to show your answer? Remember, every question you tackle is the step forward in your learning path. Each effort, right or wrong, is a progress, reinforcing your determination and edging you toward your goal. Keep practicing and you will get there. And remember, online training for everyone is here to support you. The most important step toward your success is to make sure you adopt the only winning mentality which is not being afraid of trying, experimenting, and making errors and mistakes. For example, the message you can tell yourself is, I'm open to learning new skills and know that through making mistakes, I gain insight and grow. Speaking about mistakes, did you know that the most common mistake people make with this question is recognizing the pattern of squares in numbers 1, 9, and 16, and just choosing the next squared number in the sequence, which would be 25. Well, guess what? 25 is not the right answer here, so you really need to detect the pattern. And the pattern here consists of two important elements. Number one is that numbers between 6 and 11 o'clock calculate the numbers between 12 and 5 o'clock. And to complete the calculations, you need to do division and square of numbers using the number in the middle. Let's look at the example. Source number at 6 o'clock calculates the target number at 12 o'clock. 2 divided by 2 squared equals 1. Let's move forward and continue with the next number. 6 divided by 2 squared equals 9. Let's move to the next number. 8 divided by 2 squared equals 16. So to calculate the missing number, we need to divide 12 by 2, square the result, and get to the answer of 36. So the correct answer here is choice C, 36. <laughs> to solve this intriguing question, let's draw some inspiration from Olympic gold medalist Wilma Rudolph, who said, the reward is not in the victory, but in the effort. Keeping this in mind, let's focus on the process of problem solving in this question, finding satisfaction and fulfillment in the effort you put forth, regardless of the outcome. You're presented with five shapes. The shapes are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And you need to determine which three shapes can build a square. Your first choice is choice A, shapes 1, 2, and 5. Choice B is represented by choices 1, 3, and 5. Choice C, 5, 4, and 3. And last but not least, choice D, 2, 3, and 4. You might have already tried solving this question in your head and possibly anticipating a comment from me on how tough this question seems. Well, consider this. Every difficult question on the test is a chance to stretch your skills. Take a deep breath, have faith in your knowledge, and face this question with courage and tenacity. And know we will support each other in this channel through this obstacle growing stronger in the process. Time's up. Are you ready to show your answer? Every question you tackle is a step forward in your learning path. 
Each effort, right or wrong, is a progress, reinforcing your determination and edging you toward your goal. Keep practicing and you will get there. And remember, online training for everyone is here to support you. And the first step toward your success is to make sure you're not afraid of trying, experimenting, and making errors. In fact, the best approach you can adopt is to tell yourself, I seek to discover new knowledge, aware that mistakes are simply lessons in disguise. Speaking about mistakes, you probably would want to know that the most common mistake to solve this problem is manipulating with all five shapes presented instead of focusing on only three answer choices provided. Let's look closely how it works. Take a look at choice A, shapes 1, 2, and 5. Can you really form a square with these shapes? Take a look at choices C and D as well, and see if this is a possibility. Another mistake a lot of test takers make is forgetting that the shapes could be rotated. I'm pretty sure you're not one of them. Make sure to try to rotate the shapes in your mind to see if they can fit to build the target object. In fact, to solve this problem, you need to select the shapes 1, 3, and 5, rotate them, and build a square. So the correct answer here is choice B, 1, 3, and 5. <laughs> Without a doubt, to solve this question, we need to embrace the famous quote from Napoleon Hill. Strengths and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. So embrace the challenges presented by this question as opportunities for your personal and professional growth knowing that perseverance is the pathway to success. You're presented with the octagon. Octagon has seven numbers inside, and the eighth number is missing. Starting from the eight o'clock, the numbers are 51, 93, 72, 85, 16, 36, 25, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, nine. Choice B, 39. Choice C, 49, and last but not least, choice D, 98. Well, I might know what you're about to say about the difficulty of this question. But remember, facing a challenging question in the assessment test can feel daunting, but every obstacle is an opportunity for your growth. Take a moment to gather your thoughts, trust in your abilities, and approach this question with determination and resilience. I know you can do it. Together, we'll navigate through these challenges and emerge stronger on the other side. Time's up. Are you ready to show your answer? As you approach answering this question, remember that the journey of your self-improvement is paved with challenges. Whether your answer is correct or not, each of your attempts make you strengthen your skills and resilience, bringing you closer to success. As part of this journey, you should embrace new experiences and remember that making mistakes is the key part of your learning process. Speaking about typical mistakes on this type of questions, the most common mistake is pattern misunderstanding, applying calculations not fully understanding the logic behind the pattern, which would lead you to the incorrect result. And as you might have guessed, the pattern here is very simple. Starting at 8 o'clock, numbers on the opposite side of the octagon are subtractions of the digits squared from the opposite side. Let's look at the example. At 8 o'clock, we see the number 51. At 2 o'clock, we see the number 16. 5 minus 1 squared equals 16. Let's confirm our logic with other numbers. 9 minus 3 squared equals 36. 7 minus 2 squared equals 25. So the missing number is calculated as 8 minus 5 squared and equals 9. So the correct answer here is choice A, 9. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. 
I really appreciate your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.